part of my coaching philosophy is engaging the athletes. So it's all well and good to be able to set a program. Uh, anyone can follow a, a program, but it's about trying to engage the athlete so you can get the best potential um, out of each individual. So that's working out what makes that individual tick. But of course, it's not. I'm certainly not one of those coaches that um, pushes my athlete in that if they don't get out of bed, well, I'm not going to say, you know, ring them up and say, why weren't you here? The motivation, wants, I want that to come from the individual. What the, one of the analogies I use is that I tell my athletes that they're in the bus driving. They've got the, it's the foot on the accelerator and I'm in the passenger seat with the map, guiding them the best way. So when I need to push them, yes, I'll, I'll push them, but when I need to back them off, I'll also back them off and then direct them the most efficient way there. Efficiency and quality is the name of the game. It's not about just more, more, more and more. It's, it's good balance, engaging the athletes and providing that efficiency and quality. My own coaching philosophy um, has probably changed a little bit over my 10 years of teaching and coaching experience. Um, and I think every teacher every PE teacher would be lying if they said they didn't want to someday have an Olympic gold medalist appear on the TV and, and remember them and name them and say they were their greatest motivation. I think for me that's not the priority though. The priority for me is to gain as much enthusiasm from as many children as I can about being active. If I can have 100,000 children taking part and never receiving a gold medal. That for me is something that, you know, if they're established in lifelong participation, that's equivalent to a gold medal for me. Um, this is about, you know, children finding self-esteem, high levels of confidence so they can take these skills out into their adulthood and establish, a, as I say, an active lifestyle for years to come. My philosophy, I guess, aligns with things that I've previously discussed which is that sport is about enjoyment principally and therefore everything that I work towards with enjoyment uh, in the sport is the most important area. What I'm also looking to do is obviously allow the athlete to choose the level that they want to participate at and try and achieve to the highest level that they desire. It's important that as a coach uh, you also display I guess the correct attitude and uh, are a good role model for the athletes so that uh, they will follow in, in the same field. I know when I was younger I always wanted to be a teacher and um, even though I didn't end up doing an education degree, um, I ended up doing a business degree, it's always stayed with me and when I finished, uh, before I even finished my um, athlete career, I'd already done a coaching course so that I already had the qualification to start coaching when I finished what I was doing as an athlete. Um, I really do love, I mean I've loved cycling from the moment that I started with it. When I was 15 years old through a talent identification program I didn't even know what a road bike was and what cycling was about and my world has just been opened up to allow me to achieve my life dreams and to the simple act of riding a bike is just so powerful on so many levels. So for me to be able to share that with other people, whether it's in the, the social arena, whether it's in the competitive arena, I love being able to see people enjoy themselves and get the most out of themselves and enjoy themselves. And with cycling, there's such a social element involved with it as well. So for young kids, there's a lot of teamwork involved. It really helps them to feel like they're in control of something. You really give them the opportunity to be responsible. Um, and communication is such a vital element when you're out on the bike, um, not only on the road as a, as a training, um, when you're training, but also when we're racing, you need to be able to communicate so that you can um, work effectively as a team.